Hey guys, hello and welcome to my new video. So a few months ago we bought this uh, Mercedes GLC for my wife. Uh, it's 2016 GLC 300 and she really likes it. It's a low mileage, it's a beautiful car. Um, so she was driving and she said, you know what, I keep seeing those GLCs but they look a little different, a bit more aggressive. And I think it's something with the front is different. So we Google and uh, we saw that uh, there are a few different grills that you can half uh, on the front um, so first uh, we saw the diamond uh, grill and she was like nah that's not it that's not it it's a little different than that a bit more aggressive so then we saw the GLC that they have um, GTR grill so I ended up buying it so there it is Looks beautiful, um, brand new. Bought it from eBay for, believe it or not, less than a hundred bucks. And so today we're gonna put it, see how it's gonna look. All right, see how easy that is too. So after you pop the hood, uh, there are a few uh, plastic screws or notches that you have to remove. There are two here, here, and here. And uh, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take your flat head screwdriver lift this first part up out of all the way and then with your finger it's gonna keep coming Let's see that's gonna help kind of hard with one hand but there you go they look like this don't break them don't lose them because you're gonna need them after that and we're gonna continue so the first sets of screws are removed so that will be on the closer side and this is a plastic trim that you're just going to grab and pull out to release this. After that, I'm going to remove the rest of the screws. One, two, three. Let's get this puppy out. It's not the easiest thing to do with one hand, but still, just for the sake of the video. I'll show you how easy it is. The next thing we're gonna do is remove uh, these air scoops. There's one on this side and one on this side. And, um, all it does is it's catching it it's holding itself on one of those catches right here so we're just gonna pop Let's see if I can zoom it in just gonna pop and remove this one and then the other side all right and once you remove the air scoop there are a few catches at the bottom that um, we just have to push and uh, push down and kind of push the whole grill in so you can have it removed and later I will show you what exactly those catches are alright guys so I'm almost at the last steps um, so it wasn't easy not at all um, this scoop actually came out pretty easy uh, I don't know how and why uh, but this one is still stuck there I can reach um, this uh, last two catches that are at the bottom so what I did was um, I used uh, this plastic tool and I kind of push one of the catches from this side, right, uh, and this side, and end up working. So I got the grill pushed in, pushed in, and then, right, as I said, I'm on the last step. Um, it was not easy to get the grill out. Um, so it's just a lot of um, finessing and uh, moving around, but yeah, it's almost out, so I'm just gonna lift it and pull this way. So I'll see you on the next step. All right, so I got the grill out, and here's what it looks behind. Let's sit it right down here. As I said, I didn't even remove this plastic uh, sco air scoop. And as you can see, those catches at the bottom are really hard to reach. I managed to get one, but not the rest. And I'm planning to do the same thing on the new grill. I'm gonna put first uh, the air scoops and I'm gonna try this way see if I can uh, if I'm able to um, to put it that way so 
and just for a future reference here where the catches are you got one here you got one down here another one another one right in the middle you got another one this is hard to get but yes you have another one and there last one all right so now it's time to put the new grill a beautiful one see how hard is that as you already noticed uh, the new grill doesn't come with uh, the mercedes-benz uh, emblem um, so what you're going to do is you're going to remove the old one and put it back in here and just as an examine all you have to do is turn it clockwise and it will open and then I'm gonna install on the on the new grill. Alright so putting the grill it wasn't that hard then you know taking it out um, it looks pretty cool now. I'm um, not quite done yet but um, just stay not uh, I would definitely put the grill first and then put this air scoop it's much easier just to uh, kind of finesse them and put them in and then clip them and the same on the other side um, it's just much easier just go underneath and you will clip them under it's it's definitely it's been better um, fits good for a hundred bucks uh, I mean I have my doubts honestly I thought it would it would be like I don't know uh, cheap and it will not look good but damn it looks good um, so I just have to put this piece of the trim and we're gonna see the final result so while I was putting the last trim I noticed something interesting so this one was kind of wobbly I was like it wasn't like this I was supposed to put those pins and I found that in the box those brackets they need to be put first so they can clip again like the old one they're detachable so you got those three trims so I think this one will be easy to put right well what about the other ones so I'll suggest you if you're putting this kind of a grill make sure you don't make the mistake I do and put um, those um, bracket first before you even go and install that grill because um, now one of the screws which is right here will be almost impossible to put well I'm gonna I mean I'm gonna do it but it's just gonna be hard so yeah just a heads up guys uh, don't forget this bracket uh, put them prior of you installing even that the grill will be easy I think after that all right so install the last uh, trim and as I say make sure you guys put these brackets uh, before you are even putting the grill on and now everything looks nice and tight so let's see how it looks damn wow it's just beautiful it definitely looks more aggressive and uh, I hope my wife likes it now really nice all right guys that's all from the video um, so hit a like if you like it if you don't like it that's all right it's not a big deal so oh, this is what, how it looks and as soon as I finish with the project I got something in the mail about to put it now let's see how it looks oh yes And there you go guys, this is the final result of the project. Um, so let me know what you think. Do you like it? Hit the like button. If you don't like it, that's fine. I think it turned out pretty good. Have a good one.